leadership. So we're saying here today, Hauraki says no. Yora. Yora. Yeah. We're gonna have lunch in a minute. I um. I feel. I feel very strongly that even though I didn't vote for the guy, that our MP is called Scott Simpson. And I feel that the job of a Member of Parliament is to represent the people of his electorate. So I wrote him a letter. We wrote him a letter. We said, given that 61% of New Zealanders are opposed to these asset sales, and given that you are MP for everyone in this electorate, how do you intend to represent those members of your electorate who oppose the asset sales? They asked him that question on the radio this morning. He didn't answer that. We asked him, given what the national government is doing at the moment, what benchmark indicators you know, they like this key performance stuff. What indicators do you expect that we will see to indicate that the government policy is working for all the people in the region? And what is your timeline for this? And if this timeline and benchmark is not achieved, what is plan B? Ladies and gentlemen, there is no plan B. There is no timeline and there are no benchmark indicators for our electorate. We want democracy every day, not every three years. So get your postcard and send it to the Prime Minister. Thanks for coming. Enjoy the soup. Kia ora, no whanau. Just a, a, a couple of things. But, um, first of all, government doesn't own the assets to sell them. They belong to us. And that's more specifically, they belong to Tangata Whenua. And those assets are here because it's upon those assets that we build economies that are compassionate and economies that have people at the centre of those economies. We need our assets, our land, our water, our air, our people, so we can build a sustainable future for our wukupuna.